I thought I would share my ministry minute this week. Uh, rather than just be me, I thought that I would have some conversations with some people and get to know Miss Toy here. Uh, <laughs> thank you for joining me, Toy. Oh, it's a pleasure to be here. And I wanted Toy specifically to talk today about Kids Camp, which I guess I'm, I'm I'm wondering what to expect from Kids Camp. KT's explained some things to me, but um, uh, I'm used to doing VBSs. I don't know there's some similarities, but you all try to, uh, a little bit different emphasis, I guess, with the Kids Camp. But uh, tell me, what is your favorite part of Kids Camp? Well, I have lots of favorites, and, and you're right in the fact that um, about a year ago, K uh, KT wanted to go ahead and try something different because you know, VBS has been back since the 50s, and it was like, yeah. you know, give it a new spin. We've been doing like it that. a while, yeah. And, yes. and so uh, we decided to make it more like, because we, you know, we are very much a part of Camp Deer Run in this area, mm -hmm. and we just felt like the kids needed something different. So we wanted to get them outside more. We wanted it to be a little more relaxed, uh, but to have fun. Mm -hmm. And so last year when we had it, you know, we rotated them around. We use our youth group, which is a huge help. Uh, and they do skits and they do we do crafts and we have Bible lessons and we have games and of course we always have the cookies and yeah. Kool-Aid and things like that so uh, and we felt that it was really successful and the kids enjoyed it like it's a little bit more laid back and less like school that. yes more less camp right okay. you know and so um, if you know if nothing else I would hope that maybe we can kind of give them an idea of what it would be like to maybe even be a camper you know, a lot of kids nowadays, they don't get to go out camping. They don't get to do a lot of things outside. And the fact that, you know, this is a little bit different year for sure. And I don't know that many kids are maybe able to get out as much as they normally would with their families because there's so many stipulations and everything uh, out there. So uh, this year we decided that it might be a little bit overwhelming to do the four days. So we determined to try just one. But I'm really excited about that one because it's going to be on a Saturday, which means m hopefully everybody, you know, most of the family will be home. Yeah. And that's exciting to me because we really want parents to come out that last hour. It starts at 4 o'clock. It'll be on July the 18th. Uh, that's a Saturday. We're going to start at 4 o'clock. We'll end at 8. But we want parents to come around 7. For because, the meal, right? Yeah. So, meal, yeah. Uh, the thing about it is it's all my favorite i'm just a huge i'm a teacher i mean i taught kids i love kids you know uh so anything that has to do with kids excites me you know I would, i'm one of those teachers that would come back from workshops that everybody couldn't stand in the summertime and go, oh, oh i can't wait to try this you know i just automatically one of those yeah i get excited i just get, yeah and guess who the guinea pigs are it's always the kids in the classroom you know so I just really get excited when there's a lot of kids around and, and we want them to come out. We want them to feel comfortable. Uh, we want the kids to know that we're going to do everything that we possibly can to make them feel safe and secure. Uh, we want our church family to come out to help support so that when uh, we hope parents will feel comfortable enough at 7 to come and we're going to have um, hot dogs and a cookout cookout yeah. a cookout thing and so we're, yes we're gonna have Bible classes and yes we're gonna have games and and things like that but we have to keep we hope it's outside so we're gonna be praying for pretty weather and and things like that so we just want to give the kids a fun afternoon uh, and let them learn some things as well you know and be comfortable so I know? can't say one thing is my favorite You're one thing it's all okay. <laughs> it's, it's all well yeah I think mean, Wanting the kids to have a positive reinforcement as far as, hey, I did something at the Winsboro Church of Christ, and it was exciting. And I think, you know, what you said, being a teacher that got excited, I will say as a student, and as a, my mother's a teacher too, but kids see excitement. And I would say, if you, we want you to come to kids camp, and what, what, what we want you to bring is excitement, because that's what kids feed off of. It's like, if we're excited, that helps them to be excited. And if right. we're excited about Jesus. And it's not just a story we tell, but it's something that we truly want to get into. Right. Um, I try to do that when I preach, and some I probably succeed some, and maybe don't always succeed with bringing the excitement level. But and it doesn't be pretend excitement, just genuine. If a kid sees genuine excitement because they know that somebody cares, that's right. I think it's powerful. Yeah. So, and that's what we want to yeah do with the kids' camp. So. Yeah, kids, I think have that sixth sense. 
they really can see the heart of adults as well as, as uh, uh, other kids. And that's another thing that, I, that I'm excited about is that we do use our older children, our older kids to help uh, because as an elementary teacher and a junior high background, uh, elementary kids love to be around older kids. Thank you. And uh, our, our teenage group is wonderful. And so I want parents to know that their kids are going to be taken care of uh, and that um, our kids will be doing all the things that they need to do so that your child will feel safe as well. Yep. So, um, like I say, all in all, I'm just I'm really excited about it. It's just the, the one day event, but hopefully the kids will go back with their little craft and we're going to try to learn a new song. And uh, for those that um, not many kids learn to do parts, so we're going to try to do a part. And maybe at the end of the day, um, maybe we can even get KT to record it or something, you know. That'd be good, yeah. And get it online some other time, you know, so that we can, you know, so everybody can kind of see. We just want the kids to say, hey, I did that. Yeah, that's right. So, hey, yeah. that's me over there. I, I, I did the soprano part, you know. <laughs> so uh, I just think kids like, they enjoy learning. You know, and I think that if they go home and they have a really good feeling about it, that uh, who knows, this may be something that we can do every year. You know, and maybe make more than one Saturday. If we see that Saturday is a better time than during the week, I mean, who knows? The sky's the limit. You know, but kind of experiment, but we'll see how it right. goes. Right. I mean, you never know till you try something. So we really hope that everybody will come out and. Uh, Bring your friends. Be sure if you want to uh, sign up online, uh, go to winsboro.church and sign up there. If not, grab somebody you see from one of our congregations and say, hey, I want to come. And, you know, we'll try to get you to the right people. And uh, we'll be trying to get as many of our uh, family here as well to be out there so that uh, by the end of the day, we want people in the community to know who we are and hopefully meet as many of our members as we can. Uh, so we're really hoping for a good experience there. Well, thanks for oh. sharing with me. And that way go. But now that I'm preaching in person on Sunday and doing the Sunday worship, and now you know ministry minute like this or coffee with Colby, the stuff that we do, I'm afraid people might get tired of my face. So yours is a nice, you know, reprieve from. Oh, no, from what life. I feel sorry for you is that you know, we've seen you so much. It's like, oh, it's Colby, you know, when you're like going, I don't know who you are, you know, because we've seen you so many times. You it's know, it's an so, awkward time to make yeah. a transition, but it's been good, and I enjoy being here, and I'm looking forward to kids camp. So. Well, I'm, I'm excited too. So thank we you. Hope everybody will come.